But love. Uh, in 1950, huh? Those demon little land Pakistanis, yeah. Built a road over the Lori Pass so they could get in to us, to enslave us. We were cursed by those demon Pakistanis, yeah. We were like aggressively absorbed. Horribly homogenized. Terribly transmogrified. Ooh. Cultural independence, mm-mm, bye-bye. Unique culture, ah, architecture, uh. Pakistani jets, yeah, they stray from remote villages, yeah, with their fighter jets, huh? To what? Say, good morning, namaste, yeah. We'll rule you now. Yeah, swallow our whole culture in one greedy gulp, yeah, that fucking around with our freedom by the Pakistani bummed me out since birth. I was just one years old when this happened, okay? Depressed me. Just sucked the vital energy out of me. And uh, uh, peasants, how many nights have I almost overdosed on opium because of my depression? How many? Many nights, my lord. No, you got that right. Uh, until last night. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ah. Um, when the whitest queen of the whiter shade of pale of the whole England. Yo. My creamy, creamy, mm -hmm. uh, graced me in bed. Please welcome Queen Latif into our tribe. <laughs> this symbolizes the passing of a few golden days. Oh, um, and the surrounding hill tribes, well, they accept and protect their queen, Latif, yeah, as a native daughter, according to their mountain hospitality, Malmastia. They protected Osama bin Laden, too. Anyone up there, they'll protect a stranger. But then you'll owe them a favor. I expect their help to be reciprocated. Well, Queen Latif, she becomes celebrated as the first female white Zadu <laughs> S in the history of Chitral, Mustoj, the Yarkon Valley, Banglasi, the Borgo Pass, beyond the, the Moraine Glacier. Yeah, history. And there she is, huh? Mounted on her stallion. Oh, yeah, royal, royal white horse, huh? Her Highness benevolently lords over her kingdom. Yeah, and uh, she is the first post Victorian. It's about time. Uh, Northwest Frontier Queen. Freak. Crazy. Royalty. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, uh, so actually, the, the, the Queen Grass, mountain languages, dialects, uh, seemingly with no effort. Oh, Queen Latif, huh? she sh shoots these old Lee, Lee Enfield rifles with copper case bullets. Oh, boom, boom, all riding on her horse. Evening. She sucks. Opium. Man, King's Rave. Properly and royally. <laughs> yeah, well. And she plays polo. They play mountain polo at 12,500 feet on the Shandar Plateau. Only they use a sheep carcass instead of a ball. 
Okay, and uh, observe. Look at look at look at the queen six pack. Uh, those are abdominal muscles, six pack, huh? Chiseled, huh? And especially her goddess warrior, horse gripping, royal legs of their new queen title holder. Yeah. So wow. Uh, oh, oh, that auspicious romantic evening on oh, that first one, huh? Well, after that, the Mastujis, uh, uh, uh openly and wisely address Kipling uh, as, uh, well, behind her back. At, no, first Queen Latif, yeah, but behind her back. Look, human nature, we're twisted, we're lazy, okay. They refer to her as the White Zadu. Yes. Because to them, Kipling comes off as like a half-breed. A hybrid. All they know, only white people they've ever seen are the British uh, Raj. So he look, he, she looks like a, uh, you know, British woman. And um, mixed with the Zadu, with those Zadus that, that wander around India. Those wandering, begging stone to the guild Zadus of Hindustan. Well, Zadus. Who are these Zotto characters anyway? Yeah, well, he, he's a, or she, is a spiritual truth seeker. Dedicating your life to seeking truth. Oh. Uh, and smoking hashish. Uh, becoming a householder and a family man for Zotto? Fuck that. Uh, Zotto shunned blood families and Traditional hourly labor. Fuck that. Oh, uh, if they wear clothes at all, oh yeah, these are they, they like orange sarongs. Yeah, and uh, they wander around aimlessly. Well, they got the little portable travel pipes called chillums and uh, copious uh, uh, primo chunks of hashish, and they're piled into the Ganges for the Kumbh Mela. Like five million of them all just jump in there together, huh? Some still smoking their pipes in the water. That's why they're called Hubble Bubbles. Well, uh, yeah, they stay stoned all... They're, it's a religion. Stay stoned all the time. Yeah. Well, some, their lungs, they scorch up eventually. And if they have to, they crawl on their hands and knees to the burning gats of Benares. Yeah, on the Ganges there. All, all. Auspicious place to check out and often die untimely and early dead. Zadus are free. People like who? They're queen. 